Welcome to 19th of August Godly Blessing. Supreme God Father is talking about love today and this is the love which we receive from him continuously and we give out once or twice only, right? That's when you meet people, when you meet loved ones, when you meet anyone around you as a friend or as, as a colleague or as a relative, you give out love and power to those people. But then if you're not receiving it from others, then it becomes difficult and especially your own other people, loved ones, if they're not giving you love, then to give it back to them becomes a little difficult. So that's where God comes in between them and us. So God says, you take it from me and then you give it to them instead of giving it to them and then asking from them and not getting in return and then getting a little down or feeling low and feeling sad. So why not take it from me a lot and give it once or twice. So God says, may you become full of the treasure of love and give everyone the sustenance of love and power. So when are we able to support other people? It is only then when we are feeling good enough and when other people ask for support and if they have not given us support when we need it, we are like, why should I help you out? <laughs> and that's what normally people's reply is, right? That's meaning that we actually are not having enough stock of love or enough stock of self-love or enough stock of love of life and we are becoming selfish in terms of give and take we are making a business of give and take instead of giving it so god says the treasure store of love of those children who share the father's love become just as full as whom as the creator it is as though they are being showered with love all the time now love doesn't mean giving gifts and giving presents and taking people to parties and you know feeding them that's not love some people say that's an expression of love well if that was an expression of love then you wouldn't be having it yourself right you wouldn't be enjoying it yourself and enjoying that party or eating the food yourself it's not about, it's not about sharing some moments together it's about expression of somebody's good qualities somebody's expression of someone's behavior even if it's not good you still are kind to them and how many times can you give out a party and how many times can you give out a gift to show or express your love someone might say i'm a millionaire i can give them a million times well good enough for you I'm, but we are talking about the whole population so love is also asking caring it doesn't need to be any kind of a material thing so that's what god says is that it is as though they are being showered with love all the time when we are connected to god this is the feeling they have give love once and receive it again and again so when we give it, we receive it again and again. If we stop giving, we don't receive it. That's the complete logic of this connection. At this time, everyone needs love and power. So give love to some through the Father and give power to others through the Father with which they can constantly have zeal and enthusiasm. So giving love to someone means appreciating their qualities, appreciating their appreciating their talents, making them full of zeal and enthusiasm. So appreciating somebody's talent is not about appreciating their physicality, it's appreciating their habits, their qualities, their talents, something which is to do with the soul, not with the body. And some through the father and give power to others through the father, power to decide. Some people are not able to decide, give them power to decide. Some people are being fidgety, so give them power to make a right decision. And that is what it means to give power through the Father. Help them to make decisions, help them to discern what is right, what is wrong. Help them to make the choices, help them to face situations in their life, help them to face challenges in their life, help them to tolerate situations in their life, help them to tolerate others in their life. And that's the knowledge which God Father gives and God says, share with others. With which they can constantly have zeal and enthusiasm. This is a special service that you special souls have to do. So God is calling us special. We are special because we are able to help other souls with godly wisdom and giving it to others. That's also an expression of love. You give somebody a fish to eat and you feed them for a day. You give someone a lesson of how to fish and you feed them for a lifetime. Now remove the fish over here because we are not non-vegetarians. You teach somebody wisdom and through that wisdom they find out how to live their life or you do something for them yourself once because you cannot live their life right you cannot be there 24 7 you give them wisdom wisdom will stay with them forever you won't be able to stay them forever and then you help them out that's what special souls do i'm sure with this